If you want to be an internationally competitive wakeboarder, and who doesn't, you've got to train all year round. Shaq Shackelford shares how some are diving into our frigid lakes in winter around town. Wakeboarding is one of the hottest grassroots sports on the water, but to train, you got to be willing to get cold. A lot of the wake boats are over there in the marina. They're winterized. When they're winterized, they're not going to ride them until mid-May. Wakeboarding in the month of March in the state of Oklahoma is not something many families would want to do. But for the kid family, there's never a bad day to be on the water. To get better than all the other kids that are just sitting at home. Meet 10-year-old Jackson and little 6-year-old Christian, a.k.a. The Mess. Your suit fills up with the really cold water and feels like you Froze. Jackson is the 2011 state champion for his age group and now competes in the adult category. He won fourth in an international competition last summer. The three Kent family rules for winter wakeboarding. Number one, the air and the water temperature must equal at least 100 degrees. What do other moms say to you when you're like, yeah, we wouldn't. We you're wouldn't crazy. <laughs> yeah. If it was up to her, we probably wouldn't be out here today. Number two, stick to the basic moves for fewer crashes into the cold. And lastly, there's no whining in winter wakeboarding. You ever say, Dad, no, it's just too cold? I have. What's he say? He said, no, it's not. We're going anyways. <laughs> now to a different water craze hitting Tulsa, alkaline water stores. This is antioxidant water. When you put this in, in your body, it cleans you out, just like a fruit and vegetable. The folks at H2O for Life say Congan water eliminates acid in our bodies. But keep in mind, investing in an ionizer will set you back at least $1,000. So do your research to see if it's right for you. For The List, I'm Shaq Shackelford.